Now, before we said, uh, you know, a stock market is a bubble um, a co of companies, right? A marketplace where you can buy and sell uh, shares. Now, what I want to make clear is that a stock market um, in that sense is owned. It's like it, it is a marketplace, but it's a private marketplace, right? That a certain company owns. Um, so if we think about, say, NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ is a stock market exchange. And the stock market generally is just a market for stocks, for shares, right? Um, a stock market exchange is where you actually go to buy and sell those, right? Because someone has to manage that. If I want to go into a computer and buy 100 shares worth of Apple, right? Someone has to manage that. Someone has to make it happen. So what you see are what are called exchanges. And this is just like an exchange desk where you go, say, to uh, exchange diff uh, bills of different currencies. It's just like that for the stock market. They just manage that, right? Uh, so you can think of the U.S. stock market, right? But the actual stock market breaks into different exchanges. And this is just um, the actual, uh, the people who manage, right? The listing uh, and the buying and selling of those stocks. So you'll never really run into this. Like you're, you're not going to go on to NASDAQ and buy a stock through there. And we'll talk about how you actually can go and buy stocks um, in a little bit. Uh, but just keep in mind that generally your bubbles of stocks, right? Your stock markets with um, Apple and Microsoft and NVIDIA, um, they're going to be on, say, the NASDAQ exchange, right? Uh, or the Dow exchange or, and, and, you know, every uh, country will have their own stock market. So China will have a stock market. Uh, the Swedes have a stock market and, and some stock markets may have, um, you know, multiple, um, or excuse me, some countries may have multiple exchanges right and the biggest one in the US right you have the New York Stock Exchange or the the NYSE okay so we we looked at this example right all these examples of companies that uh, issue shares or issue stocks uh, and then join a stock market Um, I want to put some terms on those things, right? So if we think about um, an IPO, you'll hear this term often. IPO means initial public offering, right? So if I'm Apple and I completely own uh, my own shares, right? I own all million of my shares and then I want to list on a stock market exchange or I want to make that public so other people can buy my shares, right? When I do that, that's called an IPO. And you'll often see videos of companies where they're, they're ringing a bell on a stage, right? Or the people who started the company or the executives. Um, that is them listing for the first time. That's when their shares were private. Now they make some of them public. Now you can buy and sell them actively. And then before we, we spoke of the total value of the company, right? If we had the $10 billion, we had the billion dollars. Let's say your company is worth a million dollars, right? And you have, um, let's say, 100,000 shares. And then our price, right, is going to be a million dollars is the company value divided by, oh, I've got a zero there. 100,000, that's gonna give us uh, $10 per share, right? $10 a share, 100,000 shares, it's gonna give us a million dollars of value, right? If a company is worth a million dollars, what we're gonna call that is the market cap. And this is what you hear about all stocks, right? So if you go search up any stock of, of any public company, um, you're gonna see something that says market cap and it'll have a number. That number is just the value of the company, right? So the market cap or the market, or the, excuse me, the market capitalization is just the value of the company. Uh, and then the number of shares outstanding, 